What's the crack, lads? Welcome back to another player pack review. We have got the Encore Stars January 5th, and this is going to run for seven days. Well, six days, 16 hours, but whatever way you want to say it. But anyway, we've got some nice players in this. These are obviously rehashed and repeat reviews, uh, or repeated players, I should say, uh, because we've covered a lot of these guys already. But for newcomers, I know that there's a lot of new people trying the game. I know I'm getting a lot of questions every week. Um, and obviously these players, even though they released before, they are new to some some of you that are watching the videos. So appreciate and welcome anyone to the channel that is new um, and is new to eFootball. I hope you guys enjoy it. But yeah, this is kind of a mixed bag again because you've got 22 players. You're obviously going to have a lot of uh, a lot of luck in whether or not you get one of the top players such as DePaul or Lewandowski or Rashford or Shuamene or Rafael Liao, who's absolutely class. Or you could end up in one of these, you know, with Joe Hart or, you know, John Mario, even though they're fairly decent players, you're not going to be, you know, comparing these guys. I think Rashford is a really good option in this as well. He's got 19 all stats, but we're going to go through fairly quickly, right? There is 22 players to cover, so we're going to go through fairly quickly, and I'm going to give you my honest opinion on them all. I mean, a lot of the standard versions of these players are quite cheap, and you can train them up to be equally, if not better, than these cards, um, you know, so... Apart from these guys up here, you're you're not going to have to train any players if you get any of these cards. You know, if you get Kunde, you have a kind of an end game uh, center back, like pretty much instantly. Do you know what I mean? You don't have to train him up. You don't have to worry about anything. His stats are solid. Um, you know, his player skills are excellent. So you can move on with you know having another player, and he is down as a right back, but he can play a center back as well. Um, the same with you know maybe DePaul or Lewandowski. Uh, they're kind of end game players as well if you don't have a lot of legends but anyway right moving on and let's start this video so we've got joe hart yeah i mean if you do get joe hart i definitely don't think he's worth playing um 79 reflexes is just not good enough you need 88 reflexes minimum trust me on that trust me lads if you are going to be getting a player like joe hart unless you're playing a celtic team or you're you know playing a dedicated reason for playing him don't even bother genuinely just you know if you do spin him um just chalk it down to bad luck that's just my opinion there's so many better players out there and even his standard version can go a little bit better than that card Pereira is next again he's a very average kind of left midfield uh right midfield that can play both places now he does have unwavering form he does have a lot of player skills i do like that he has speed stamina acceleration in the 80s and then the dribbling and everything like that with the low pass it's a very decent card man trust me it is a very decent card, but when you're comparing it to other AMFs that are there, he doesn't really excel in anything. You know, he doesn't have any, uh, like, stats past 85, 86 for a 90-rated player. Um, what I do like about this card is the unwavering form. That is huge, uh, but he doesn't have one-touch pass, which takes, which takes a mark off him. We've also got Badiashile, or Badiashile. Uh, this guy is very, very, very solid as well, but the lack of unwavering form does hurt this card a little bit. But he has pace, he has height, he has size, he has passing, he's got everything you could possibly want. He doesn't have blocker as a player skill either, which is a little bit of a worry if you are going to be playing him centre back. We've also got Caramona. He's only 20 years of age, so if you have a young squad, he's not bad either. He actually has interception and aerial superiority as well as fighting spirit and double touch. So a lot of unique player uh, skills and a mix of player skills there. Acceleration is good, but his stamina and balance let him down offensively and defensively. I think even though he can play as a center back, you are going to be playing him as a right back with that speed and acceleration. Um, but there again, there are better players out there than him. So the same can be said for Jean Mario. I know a lot of people talk about Jean Mario being a, being a bit of a beast. He has unwavering form. He has one touch pass. He has weighted pass. He's got cut behind and turn and soul control. One touch pass and true passing is always very important for an AMF or a, a left sided player if you are going to be using that. Um, but yeah, the lack of speed and I think the lack of I think any stat. Well, he does have ball control eighty nine. I will say yeah, this isn't a bad card. This is probably the best card that we featured so far. If you do get him, he's definitely worth a punt. The lack of pace for a left-sided player. You could play him as an AMF um, and have a player like that. His standard card is actually really, really solid. We've got this centre-back, and we've also got this. these two centre-backs. are kind of similar in the way I would talk about them. Both have interception and blocker and slide and tackle. 
Well, this guy doesn't actually, as far as I know. He, he yeah, he doesn't have slide and tackle, but he does have interception and blocker. Standard form. Um, eighty eight speed is huge, but seventy nine defensive awareness is a bit of a worry. And then this guy here is obviously going to have a similar kind of uh, thing as well. He's got 87 speed, but 79 defensive awareness, but he does have unwavering form. So you can kind of pick your poison with the two of those if you do get him. Rashford is a good player as well. Bergwijn is a good player as well. Uh, if you are looking to get them, standard form, but very nice player stats. Not a bad option at all. His dribbling could be a bit higher for a 91 overall. Rashford, as we featured here a second ago as well, Rashi's going to have 90 speed, 90 acceleration, and 90 kicking power. I would have liked, genuinely, let's, I would have liked his finishing in the 85 zone. I know he's not a massive finisher. Um, he is playing well at the moment for United. United are on a bit of a, a good run, and he is beasting. Um, but I definitely would have liked his physical contact up in the 80s and his finishing at, at, at 80. If you had 80 finishing and 80 physical contact on this card, like the lack of balance and stamina is a bit of a worry with this card because I think it should be higher. Um, genuinely, I think it should be a lot higher than that. We've also got a, a Pedro here. This guy is a beast. So he's very similar to John Mario. He's got the unwavering form. He's got the first time shot, uh, long range shooting. So he's more of a shooter and kind of an offensive based player um, in the center of midfield rather than, you know, a passer. But he does have insane stats, really good speed, stamina, balance. This is a very good card. If you do get it, let's definitely try him out. He has surprised me. I've played with him quite a bit. And then moving on to the upper tier of this pack, right? So we've got Gakpo. We featured him quite a bit before. I like this card, man. Unwavering form as a left mid. It's a very unique card because of his height. You're going to be able to spin the ball over to him. Pinpoint crossing and early crosser, which is really good. But he also is able to get on the end of crosses as well. I've scored a lot of goals with Gakpo's card. That's a center forward. You can play him as a center forward. This one is a primary position, but you can play him as a left winger. So he is definitely somebody to look at if you are going to be uh, looking at him as well. And Liverpool fans will be interested to play with him as well. We've got Beto, who's a kind of a similar player. Uh, he's tall, he's strong, he's fast, he's got unwavering form, doesn't have as many player skills as uh, Gakpo in terms of creating, but he does have a lot of shot uh, shooting player skills such as heading, rising shots, first time shot. He also has super sub and fighting spirit, which is very interesting for a player like this. So yeah, he's definitely worth a punt as well. Look at the physical contact and heading as well as the speed and acceleration. That's a very unique card. His average, his standard card is quite good as well when you train it up. Uh, Chilwell, just your standard left back. Nothing to really shout home about there. Super sub is maybe interesting enough, but for a 93 overall player, man, he definitely doesn't look like it. Um, we've got Tony as well. This guy was a bit of a monster in eFootball 22. Um, and obviously with all these players, they have 90 team play style proficiency. Um, so yeah, you are going to have a lot of players in here that are good. But the unwavering form and the area of superiority, even though he's a shorter player, causes a lot of issues for players that don't have um, acrobatic clearance or heading if you're a centre back. So if you're coming up against centre backs, even though he's a shorter player, he can out Julio with that 90 jumping. So he's, again, a very unique player. I like this card quite a lot. Uh, who else have we got? We've got Tadic and Handanovic and Rodrigo. So the two of these, Tadic and Rodrigo, yeah, unwavering form. I actually didn't really rate this guy too much. I got him in the, the match pass, and I didn't rate him too much, but he is, un, you know, unsane. He is insane at passing, man. His passing is out of this world. Pinpoint crossing um is ridiculous on the wing if you're able to you know get the ball out of his feet and get those stunning passes in stunning crosses in they're just ridiculous they're like he's like a left-footed beckham handanovic very good keeper in this 87 reflexes is just on the edge uh but that standard form is a bit of a pity and he doesn't have a low punt either and then rodrigo is just pace man that's all he is really uh, he doesn't have much end product. Even though he's got 82 finishing, you're not going to be, you know, finishing a lot of shots. The only way you finish with a left or right winger is if you cut in and finesse. That's the only way or curl shot. Uh, Koundé, I've also already mentioned him. Absolute beast, end game level type player. Interception and blocker, as well as fighting spirit and heading. Uh, even though he's a sharp player, you're playing him in a back three or a back five, man. He is unbelievable. Absolutely unstoppable as a center back. We've also got uh, Shuamene here. Had a really good World Cup. Really impressed with him. He doesn't have blocker as a DMF. And he is a box-to-box -box instead of an anchorman. I would have liked to see him as an anchorman. It would have been a better card for him. But yeah, excellent stats. His defensive awareness at 80. 
and his tight possession, low pass, uh, stamina, everything in the high 80s or mid 80s is really, really strong. And I definitely think if you get him, try him. He's one of the best versions of this card that you can get. Rafael Liao, excellent as well. So he's just kind of a, a pacey player, but he's also got that finishing. So he's much better than Rodrigo. If you do pack him, definitely get him in. He also has super subs. So if you've got him and Haaland on the bench, lads, when the live update comes back, because they play with Milan and City, you, you're going to have two in, you know unbelievable super subs that you can bring on that literally can win you games. Like They actually can win you games. Balance is really strong. Dribbling, acceleration, speed, that's all you need. And then we have DePaul, covers every blade of grass. He's very, very good as well if you do get him. One-touch pass is key to this card. And he also has early crosser and pinpoint cross, and you can play him anywhere. Look where you can play him, lads. You can play him pretty much anywhere on the pitch in midfield and as a striker except for a center forward. So left wing, right wing, SS, AMF, CMF, left mid, right mid. Absolutely incredible card, unwavering form. I must try, try him a bit more. I do actually have this card, I think, from when it released the first time. But yeah, that is a really, really good card. And then last but not least, we have Louis Lewandowski, lads. Um, you know what you're getting with Lewandowski. Look, he's a super sub with this card. This is a really unique kind of card in the fact that if you've got, like, you could just imagine, right, bringing Haaland, somebody like Haaland, Liao, and Lewandowski on in the 70th minute and you're a goal down or, you know, you're two all or whatever. You're going to have that boost with the super sub of a player that has 93 finishing, 90 offensive awareness, excellent in the air, excellent player skills, unwavering form, acrobatic finishing, long range shooting, chip shot control, literally shoot on sight when you have a player like Lewandowski in your squad. So that is it, lads, for the encore uh, player review. There's a lot of players, 22 players there. Um, the picks of them for me is definitely Lewandowski, DePaul, and Liao, and then Rashford probably there as well. Uh, there is a lot of players. Lacroix is a good player as well, as I said, the centre back. There's a lot of good, interesting players there, but there's also a lot of guys that just don't bother. Um, you should have, you know, if you are a newcomer and you pack one of the top eight guys, they'll definitely improve your squad. But other than that, um, you probably, you know, will be better off get the standard version. So that is it for me, lads. I'll be back quite soon. Don't forget to subscribe. Peace.